Thank you for joining us back to another wonderful What's the Word. This is a little bit of a different episode. Usually we like to highlight people doing things outside of our office, but this is a really rare and special occasion. So I'm here with Grace in the uh, Fits Art Studio. Grace, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Hi, everyone. Really great. So Grace is doing something really rare and special on uh, on this campus that's going to be coming up next semester. Grace, can you talk a little bit about what you're going to be doing? Yeah, so um, I was asked by uh, the Yale department to um, come up with an art proposal that will take place on campus. It'll be a public artwork um, that kind of reflects everything that students do on this campus, um, their experiential learning um, beyond the classroom. So I've been um, watching interviews of students talking about that and um, creating this visual for it so that everyone can come and see it. So it'll be a really great um, way to show everyone's different experiences. What exactly are you going to make this structure out of? Uh, you go through the process of you know, the equipment you're going to use, uh, what type of art this is called, and just more specifics like that. Yeah, yeah. so um, we took an initiative when we first started this project um, to use as much sustainable materials as we could. Um, my vision was to have this like, kind of transparent um, glass kind of material, um, and thankfully we contacted a local uh, plastics company in Dayton and uh, they had all this leftover plexiglass that they donated to us so that was really great um, uh, it otherwise it would have not been um, able to be used so we're giving it a new life and um, it'll come together in this arch um, uh, using like a hoop house structure so an arch walkway that everyone can walk through to kind of look through it and the sun hopefully will shine through it and you can see all of the etchings um, which I've done into the plastic. Um, right now I'm working on etching into them. It's called a dry point um, intaglio kind of procedure. Um, it's a lot like in printmaking. They use it a lot so that's what I've been doing the most and then next step I'll be using an ink to kind of like highlight all the sketches in there. Um, make them, you know, more visual. So that'll be the next step in it. Thank you so much. So we really appreciate you know, what you're doing and representing EL for our office yeah. and all that. So thank you so much. Thank and you. that's the word.